Hello, my blog people. I remain Joe Vika. Today, I want to address this uh, this guy, this young man on my screen, as you can see him, known as Professor One. <laughs> Professor One. Now, before I begin to address some of his um, outrageous and um, negative misconstrued statements against Christianity, against pastors, against the church. I want to plead with you that is watching. Many of you have been sharing most of the rubbish you have been dishing out in the name of this is the pastor, where is this pastor, this is the man man. But when you hear the truth that will bring salvation, you will not share because people will not watch it. Bible says something. Do not join the multitude to sin. You know, wherever you see multitude, crowd, go and check. Most time, that is not where the truth is. But let's not go there. So, I want to make sure that you share this video. A Christian that called himself and shared the, his video to me, and I said, this is rubbish. The guy replied, I don't understand this kind of pastor. He started talking. So, you know that it's rubbish that he's dishing out. And you shared it with me. The same person that watch it, they will not be, be able to share this video. That is, we tell them the truth and the way it is. There are some utterances the guy has been making on social media. Just to gather crowd, to gather followers. And I want to tell you the truth about what the Bible says about what he's saying. And what his own version is saying. You know, everybody now is a pastor. Number one, I want to let I don't want to let you know that guy is not a pastor or a prophet of God or Christ. He is simply a Confucianist that came from the spiritual world to manipulate and bring them the name of Christ and name of um, deceive people that are following him. That is the truth. Because I watched one of his videos where during the palliative, during the pandemic. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, COVID-19. He was saying his master told him that I don't I can't remember the exactly the name he was calling the man. He said his master, his father, told him why the pandemic came that the pandemic came from you know where they mentioned they came from, and it was targeted against America. And uh, very soon America were attacked. He made a not foolish prophecy how the pandemic we in America were retaliated with another. Sickness against the 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 war, but all those things he said, many of them are didn't work come that way. But he was prophes prophesying it, saying it. People are listening. Go and check his quote, his quote or his video on pandemic on this COVID nineteen. You will see so many lies. He told that that it didn't work out that way. Thank God, pandemic started. And ended the way it ended with that. Most of the thing he said about it came to pass. And he told, uh, told in that video, he said, My master told me. They asked this master, he said, His master from Mbano. That his master, the, the God, his, the, his, his spiritual guide, and there's a name he, call, he normally called that man. He says he's from Mbano, the spirit, the person that is that his master. So when someone tells us his own God is from Mbano, his own secret of his. Seeing if from Banno is he standing representing Christ? Let's talk for another day. Now, by the way, he's, he has so heard him saying that um, they told you that the money is the root of all evil, and yet the people that said it are making the money, they take offering, blah blah, blah talking a lot of trash. The Bible never said the money is the root of all evil, rather, the Bible said the love of money is the root of all evil. It's just like this guy. I was just watching, listening to Obi Wan Nbibo just yesterday on a live broadcast. He was saying, "I hate money. I don't like money because of what money is doing to my people. I hate money. I hate money." I was just looking at him that he has so many people that he grew up with. Can if he just called and said, "I need two thousand dollars," they would they would ask him which account. But he, the money is not his problem. He hates money with passion. That's because of what our people is doing, because of money, are doing because of money. That's why I hate money. I don't like money. And I was laughing at that only. <laughs> we very confused. I know he, if he sees video, he will come after me. I don't care. But I'm telling you, he's a very confused man. I'm going to make a video for him. How can you say you hate money? 
Just because of your what money is doing to your people. Are you okay? How is money doing to your people? Or you your people because of like, they love money and they're misbehaving. Like I said, the same money that it took him, it, he left Nigeria, he's in abroad because of money. That he's able to broadcast on Facebook is because of money. He bought that and do everything because of money. Now, the same as I was watching him on that live broadcast, I saw advert. As the live broker was going on, I saw advert. Why did he put advert? Money. Hi, <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know, people make statements, they tell them on oh, my mind, I want to care. Are you okay? I saw advert in your live broadcast when you say you hate money. Why did you put advert? For you to make money, yet you hate money. Some people, let's reason. So, money is not the root of all evil, but the love of money is the root of all evil. That's what the Bible says. And when we talk about love of money, if you can do anything because of money, some people are ready to lose any part of their body because of money. Some people are ready to take their mother down, use their money for money ritual. You are such person, you can do anything, you are to do you all key day. Sleep with a lady, a lady will lose her consciousness and you start making money. You use her womb to make money. Use her inner wear to make money. You love money. You are evil. That is the root. Why? Because you love that money. It's not a root that you are committing that evil. It is because of the money that people love. They started doing evil. So money becomes, the love of that money is because of the money. It's not evil. The same Bible told you that money answered all things. So that prophecy is talking rubbish. There, when he's telling, they say money is the root. Money is not the root of any but the love of money. That's number one thing I want to correct about the foolish thing he had dished out on social media. Number two thing he had he dished out. People are sharing. Say freely you receive and freely you give. That King James Bible, the person that wrote King James is in England. The Kenya stole our goods. Blah blah blah. Number one, let me start from the freely receive. One Bible, but say the Bible they bought it and people are selling the Bible and making money. And they're telling a free receive. Bible did not say freely you receive Bible, freely, freely you give. I also thank God he said that in those days they normally give Bible freely. See, China, they do write Bible too. They may not have their own translation, they do a copy, they print. Every people, the body can print Bible. That you bring Bible doesn't mean that what is written in the Bible, you are the responsible. The only I can decide to write Bible or copy the sentence that is in the Bible and send it to people to make my money. The same here that is telling a freely receive that the, the Bible is not saying giving anything free. He has material he sells in the church to make his money. That so-called church. That occultic house that he calling church. He has something he thinks he sells. Now, Bible says freely you receive. It's the gift of God upon your life. You receive them freely. You never paid any money to receive them. Then give out that gift freely. What is those gift? As I pray for you, that's like I, I, I'm against those people that will tell you. I had a pastor say, if you pay me, I pray for you. That is what the Bible is condemning. When you say you pray for somebody for prayer, God that will answer the prayer, how much are you going to pay to, to, for him to answer prayer? What if I pay you and God did not answer the prayer and God refused to answer? What, what happens to my money? That's what I don't say. Freely you receive, freely give. But if you pray for someone and he feels that happy to appreciate you, he will come back and say thank you. It's a different bargain. But not telling me that you have to pay for prayer. Pray for family deliverance. You have to pay. Pay for me this thing. I've seen people bargain how much you're going to pay them for them to come for family prayer for you. If I'm coming with my Jeep, send me 100,000. In those days, when 100,000 was well, not now, Naira. If I'm coming with my boss, 50,000. If I'm coming with my little car, 30,000. So the prayer is being answered based on the level of the Jeep or the vehicle the person is coming with. You're inviting a man of God to a program. You tell a guy, who you want me to minister in your church? Do you have a, I hope you are going to give up the envelope of 1.7 million. I see the person making bargain of how much you're going to give him as an honor to come and preach. That is what the Bible is against. That freely you receive that message to deliver. Freely give it to people. If they appreciate you, they give, that's what I want to say. When they give you any gift in the name you are a prophet, that's 
the person will not lose their reward. So they on their own will not give you something. Based that you are a prophet. Not be you charging money, making bargain of the gift of God upon your life. How much they will pay you? That is what the Bible meant. Freely you receive, freely you give. I'm taking time to explain this thing so that you will understand. Number two, three, he, he, some foolish comments he had been making. He said, um, Jesus is coming very soon. But the person that is telling that Jesus is coming very soon have already known who will be the king. Like the king James that wrote it. Knew who will be the next king of the England. The king James. <clears throat> they know the king already. They know uh, they are also making their money. They are not preparing to that Jesus that is coming soon. That is a statement of a man who doesn't know, an ignorant man. And you guys address him as a pastor. That guy is not a pastor. When Jesus said, you am a coming very soon, doesn't mean you should not buy. He said some pastors too, they are buying houses. They are climbing their children, make their wife, making children. The same Bible tells you, produce, reproduce, replenish the earth. The same Bible says, you shall inherit the earth. As long as you are in this earth, you shall inherit it. The same Bible tells you that the riches of the Gentiles shall be yours. According to what is written in the book of Psalm 132. He said the riches of the wicked shall be transferred to you, shall be yours. The same Bible tells you, occupy till I come. Occupy this place until I come. As long as I haven't come, please occupy, enjoy, do things right. So there's no way the Bible says that because Jesus is coming soon, don't go have children. Bible didn't say so. Because Jesus is coming soon, don't have money. Because Jesus is coming soon, don't do anything good for your family. Don't buy houses. That's nobody did not say that. So that somebody is buying a house does not mean that he's not preparing for the coming of Christ. He just wants to make a statement to castigate pastors and talk against the Christianity. And some of you that so called Christian are sharing. You guys, you know, we are in a generation that guy is a scammer. Do you know why he says, I saw one of his videos, he was prophesying, telling them that this week, anybody that is owing you, or you paid somebody money to give you visa, the person did not give you, that this week they must pay. Go and check in that church, that thing, you know, everybody that they were owing, they did not pay them. But he said that week, it will happen that week. And if he doesn't have, he says, scam. Prophesier is a scammer. And he's scamming a lot of people. You can see the, the picture I'm putting here. He had, he had security guard by guiding him. He didn't call. He didn't call his powerful God to protect him. But he had security that are following him. He had pilot car that are following him around. Who is he deceiving? So my brother, prophecia, uh, the the scammer. Be very careful the way you use words. If you don't know the Bible, go and learn. If you don't believe in the Bible, tell them that you are an occultist. Stop using the Bible to deceive people. And those of you that have been deceived, I want to give you credit. I look at crowd in his church, all doomed and deceived. So for now, let me stop here. I'm going to still come up by to respond to him. He's talking a lot of trash. I just pray that God will deliver his soul because he's gained the perishing. Thank you, guys. See you in my next program. I remain Jovica, broadcaster from Jovica TV. Thank you. If you no get information, you were already there from. Why not go to your YouTube? Jovica TV. Hey, you want come for Facebook? Jovica TV. Instagram and Twitter, Jovica TV. I be you want them for TikTok, Jovica TV. I be now WhatsApp you want them, Jovica TV. Poised to reach you with the truth.